Hello, in this video I'll talk to you about my notes. Oh, and this is a daydream. Oh yes, I know Pastor Daniel. He lives in a dome home. He has a bakery, El Pequeño. <laughs> he has an opportunity school and he dances on the beach. He will help you. Now this one I wrote long ago before before I got incarcerated now that I'm out of that hell hole it is it is hell in there I mean it wasn't the mistreatment it was the, um, the time that was stolen from me 12 and a half days that I was without my son all right because every day that I'm here I appreciate it I read with my son, I spar with him. So for twelve and a half days, it was uh, seven the first day, seven and a half, and then five and a half, or five days the next time. And the second time, I did nothing wrong. Both times, I did nothing illegal. Alright. So, now I've read books that say, if you want to be powerful, Daniel, don't smile don't laugh don't get excited don't be human in some ways uh, because if you get excited then you start playing and if you start playing then somebody gets upset about something like uh, you can offend people just by laughing um, I was laughing in class one time and uh, and the girl next to me said, oh, please don't laugh. And she covered her ear. And so, I didn't know that that would be offensive. And then, of course, I laugh at problems. Because I know God will pull me out of these problems. But most of these people here, like the three women, but now I'm going to start saying the two women. Since my daughter has joined forces with me. Uh, I've asked my daughter today you're a perfectionist in many things you make excellent cornbread uh, you get excellent grades in school um, why don't you become excellent in Tai Chi Chuan because I tell her if you cannot defeat me and she uses the excuse that uh, I have longer arms and that I'm heavier but I tell her, both of my teachers were less than 140 pounds. My teacher was 120 maybe, 100 and something like that. And his senior classmate, Mr. Lee, was um, maybe at the most 140 pounds. 145. And they both had sh shorter arms. and they could both destroy me and she would say well how much did you weigh 160 at the time but they could destroy me so easily because I didn't have any skills <laughs> in martial arts so today I sparred with her several times and every time I went for her hair um, at least three times in a row. One time she put her fingers in my nose, another time she put her fingers in my mouth, and I didn't even notice when she did that. It's like, uh, I would say it was a draw. Now, several times I have several scratches. This, well, I want to make sure she learns and. Well, I can still knock her down. But if she keeps practicing with me, because I told her, out of a hundred men, I might be the slowest, I might be the, the weakest, definitely not the strongest, nowhere near it. And I tell her, if I can defeat you, 
it's nothing if I can defeat you. She has to be faster and stronger and more skilled than I am. And she'll get there if she just practices regularly. I use that word. All right, so Daniel dances on the beach. I think I can still dance, but without smiling. The Chinese and the Japanese, they both have very, very serious faces. Soldiers in the United States, I've, I've spoken to soldiers, and they also have very serious faces. I think soldiers always have serious faces. There was one from Venezuela, and he told me, Cara de perro. Face of a dog. Pecho de tanque. Chest of a tank. which goes against Tai Chi principles. Uh, tai Chi has a sunken chest. But it is impressive to be a bodybuilder, uh, a Chinese style bodybuilder. I, I like the toad in the movie The Five Deadly Venoms. I had five pupils once. Right, that one the centipede, the snake, the scorpion, the lizard, and the toad. The toad was awesome. He could bend solid metal. Alright, so continuing on with chapter 14. That was my daydream though. I was reading The Science of Getting Rich by Mr. Waddles. It's a free ebook. You must become, Daniel, a man of increase, peace, calmness, confidence, and happiness. I remembered my Tai Chi teacher would rarely, extremely rarely, smile. Extreme, rare, very rarely smile. And then Mr. Lee, I remember that he smiled one time because my friend that I took him there noticed it. He said, what an internal smile. It was very soft. I mean, I'm, I'm very fat in the cheeks. But he had a very soft smile. That was it. That was his smile. very guarded very guarded they had a secret you have to be guarded talk to you later go read the Universal Declaration of Human Rights thank you Buenas noches mama That's unusual. Talk to you later.